Welcome back. It is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso. Now, if you've just joined us, it's Tuesday, which also means it's time for us to take a look at health. And this morning, mm -hmm. when it comes to the month of December, it's usually a month where South Africans report higher levels of stress and depression. Mm -hmm. That's where we have the one and only Dr. Darren Green joining us this morning to give us some life hacks on behalf of Be Well to make us manage this festive season a little bit better. And it's, and it's so backwards if you think about it. You're going into festive a holiday season. season. It's a festive season. And it's a season of joy it's and giving, but yet people are stressing out. And, and I understand, but, yeah. but we also figured out, I think, one of the major stresses is a financial stress going into the holiday season. So I think that really definitely affects your mood. Um, how do we go about, I think, first and foremost, managing your mood mm -hmm. going into the holiday season, my brother? 100%. I think one of the big things is you, you lack motivation when you feel burnt out and depressed. You lack motivation yeah. for anything new and pleasurable. So... One of the big life hacks that we have is to actually try something new. Yeah. And that means, for example, doing something that you haven't done before, whether that be walking a new route or driving a new route to work or trying a new activity, a little self-help video on yeah. YouTube or anything like that. So the first thing would be to stimulate your brain because that reward of, of actually setting a goal and, and yeah. trying something new actually releases a neurotransmitter in the brain yeah. called dopamine in sure, exactly. the reward system. And that adds, obviously, to a, a lot of uh, the, the reward and feel-good hormone profile. Mm -hmm. And that is something like uh, tackling a household task that yes. you've not been doing. So if you're, gonna, if you're, not, that the, if you're not the handyman, <laughs> become a handyman, yeah. do something, you know. It's, it's fun. The reward is big. Complete the task and yeah. you'll find that you... And then, obviously, the feedback would be great from the people around you. <laughs> Absolutely. Not the pictures hanging skew, but I've finally done it it's myself. Up, you know yeah. what I'm saying? So, yeah, and important. you feel proud of yourself. Well, I find that, you know, the festive season is a time where everyone overindulges. Mm. I mean, you stretch the meals, you eat more meals than you normally would. How does the... You know, your food intake also impact your mood. On mood. Mm. Yeah, so the relationship between mood mm. and, and food is quite, is quite vast. Uh, it stretches, obviously, just from energy levels and, obviously, high levels mm. of, of sugar that we have in things like cocktails over the festive season. Uh, those uh, mince pies that are sprinkled <laughs> with sugar, for example. Which I still fruit. don't know why they're called mince pies exactly. if they don't have mince in there. <laughs> fruit mince. And, and then, obviously, things like fruit cake and a lot of other things that we have... We, we do tend to overindulge. So uh, yeah. up your sugar, sugar levels obviously leads to surges of, uh, and dumping, basically, where your, your blood sugar levels plummet. Mm. And that's when you have fluctuation of mood and energy. And I also imagine it's, I mean, we were talking about food, but a lot of people also tend to binge drink yes, yeah. during that's a this good point. time of the year. Yes, and, al and alcohol obviously chills people out in terms of their anxieties and stresses socially. So if you're socially a little bit anxious, often people use alcohol to take the edge off, yeah. help you cope a little bit. But... What happens then, obviously, it's a downer. You really yeah. feel the, the blues and the downer in terms of the bubble us afterwards. Mm -hmm. And besides that, obviously, we've now shown the increased risk between the amount of alcohol intake and so many different cancers, yeah. for example, in terms of sure. increasing your risk. Uh, and obviously, the, the, the chance of addiction leads to so much yeah. uh, alcohol abuse. Just quickly chat uh, to us about your advice. If somebody's going into this festive season, maybe really feeling the pressure, feeling lonely, mm. feeling depressed, um, what's your advice? I mean, this is a, this is a season for togetherness. It is. And, uh, you know, it's also in a very emotional season where a lot of people, after the burnout at the end of November, just make, make it to hold on to December. And then, uh, and then they're not used to sharing their space with their family and loved ones suddenly and then have to cope with those kind of stresses too. Mm. So it's a, big, it's a big shift in terms of, of your day and your energy and the demands that, that are different. So I think the first thing is to recognize the symptoms. Uh, if you don't recognize that you're irritable, more grumpy, uh, you have a, you're less tolerance for your children, your wife, your family, obviously, do something about it. Reach out to a friend. You know, I, don't isolate yourself mm. because isolating yourself obviously makes it dangerous where you go into a dark pit and yeah. can't see any hope. So, and then surround yourself with people that actually know you, care about you, where you can be yourself. Uh, and then obviously reach out and, and go and see a professional person, mm. even if it's your GP first, mm. just to go and speak about these, you know, these feelings of really feeling down and in a dark pit. And it is difficult because not everyone always gets off this time of the year. Correct. So they also go through. are isolated because of work commitments. Well, Dr. Darren Green's 100%. not going anywhere. Thank you for those life hacks. And of course, we want to make sure your well-being comes first, thanks to Be Well. And of course, if you have any interesting tips you'd love to share with us, you can always connect with us on social media with that hashtag Expresso Show.